I'm going to record myself oven baking a pizza and you guys going to watch it. Yes. D- d- don't throw my podcast. Don't get don't get snarky on me, mister. I ain't getting no snarky and we welcome out good 3 2 1 to a you... podcast. Woo! Hi everybody. Your your applause was just snapping, but okay. All right. The snapping is the snapping is accepted. Yes, acceptable. That's good. All right, so, currently, of course, we always start out with reading messages, but we have zero messages today. Yay. So, we're not doing that, so we're going to start it with um, announcements for our channel. I'll start it with the gaming mod. You you go. I have nothing. You always have nothing. You have nothing. How about you, Gut321? You don't have a YouTube channel. But what's been going on? I'm eating pizza. Is it the oven baked one that the game that the gaming mod made? Yes, he sent it to me from Spain. He had it handmade and packed in batter. Yeah. Sweet. So you you will you go to Spain? <clears throat> yes. All right, sweet. All right, and then my my channel. I made a YouTube poop today myself. What have I been doing? No, that's just low. I know, but I I, I, I uploaded it. Hmm. And then I made that slender rival Halloween thing, but I already told you that. So done. That's all I have. And then we were trying to get freeze dried Ryan on here, but but then we watched some of his videos. Wait, we shouldn't do that. Okay, we're not gonna Stop. say that. He could be watching. Gotta restart, man. Huh? Gotta restart now. Nah, the, the, nah, we're good. We're good. You ruined us. I, I, oh yeah. Sure. <laughs> it's sure. Bold. Sure, sure. I'll take it. Everything is your fault. The Beatles are over. I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, and the game mod has uh, rage quit for the fifth time tonight. It seems like it, yes. Cause, uh, all right. So, well, while we wait, we'll wait for him to get back. Yes. So currently, we well, and got three to one are going to talk. We'll talk about leaves. Yes. Until he gets back, because we have an actual topic, but we're going to talk about leaves until he gets back. So, Thorn, what is your um? opinion about the changing color of leaves i love it i love it what because whenever she leaves change color i'm like you know what christmas is coming christmas is that's the first thing i say christmas is coming you want to know what my favorite thing is about leaves what leaf tornadoes oh yeah dust devils well leaf right, isn't that what they're called just like seeing them called dust devils. like the leaves spin up some leaves during the <laughs> during the year <laughs> just like you know i love like chasing those down the street Oh, yeah. It's like going like spin up. It's, it's amazing. You know, yeah. like one of your. But then kids. when it comes winter and then you see no leaves on the trees, you're like, mm-hmm. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the game of the are officially back together. All, All right, right, sweet. Here we go. I, wanna hold I also no threw hand. a sock. Is that right? I <laughs> threw a sock past my books and now it's somewhere in my bookshelf. We had seen that. We, had we seen saw it. you. We saw you throwing it. All right, we talked about leaves while you were gone, but now we're going to go to our actual <laughs> podcast. <What about laughs> our actual leaves? topic. <laughs> Which go. is um surprisingly pretty good. It's uh Looks- the top ten fattest people in the world. <laughs> so I'm gonna read one and then Guthrie's one is gonna read them. But since the gaming mod doesn't have this page up, he's going to uh just like no, do a much. reaction or something. Okay. Uh, number one, Joey. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right, number one, Paul Mason. Paul Mason, a 50-year-old from England, is was one considered the world's fattest man at 980 pounds. He recently underwent gastric bypass surgery and is down to 560. He says his 2,000 calorie a day diet is what attributed to his extreme size. He also blames Britain's National Health Service for not allowing him to see an eating disorder specialist when he was just over 400. And then there's no, a picture of him. That's tragic. I know. What do you say about that? It's tragic. I'd say that it's... Well... I'd say that he probably is going to die from it. Says he's dying right there. All right. Uh, now it's your turn. Hmm? It's your okay. turn. Number two, Barack Obama. No. <laughs> no, it is. What? Michelle Obama. That'd be ironic. Donna Simpson. All right. Donna Simpson is an American woman who in 2008 expressed the desire to become one of the world's heaviest women. She wished to, obta- to obtain... A target weight of 1,000 pounds as of June 2010. Simpson weighed close 
to 602 pounds, down from her weight of 630 pounds in 2008. During the process, Simpson maintained a website where fans paid to watch her eat. What? Oh, yeah, that is really weird. Okay, in 2010, what? she won the Guinness World Records for the heaviest woman to give birth. To give birth? In wow. August 2011. Does, you could do that to my baby, maybe. I mean, wow. you could do that to your baby, maybe, but not my baby. Wow. Well, um... Simpson decided to go on a diet to reduce her weight to a target of 370 pounds in order to become more self-sufficient and be able to do a better job of raising her children. Wow. Interesting. That is a very... That's it. That's so all it's at least that... He had a goal of getting to 1,000 pounds. I guess. At least that possible. story has a good ending. He, so I don't far, think it does have a good well, ending. It says that she's making progress, I guess. That's a happy ending to me. Alright. That's some profanity. Well, no, it's not funny. What? Kids flying through windows. Oh, yeah, that's not funny. That ain't funny. No, it is not. Never. Number three, Manuel Uribe. Uh, There's a lot of pictures of him. Uh, Manuel Uribe is a man from Monterey. That's all we're going to say about him. Um, <laughs> I'll just read how, how much he weighed. He weighed... 1,320 pounds and being unable to leave his bed since 2001. Mm. Poor guy. Yeah. But he's lost 400 pounds. Hmm. Good guy. Interesting. That's pretty good. Yeah. And now he weighs uh, 790 pounds. <laughs> That's still not that good, but... Poor guy. Oh, the yeah, picture of pizza there makes me want to throw up. Yeah, that just looks bad. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, you just read their just read their okay. name and then tell how much they weighed and stuff. All right, Robert Earl Hughes. Robert Earl Hughes was during. Here, just say his weight. Okay, the heaviest human being recorded in the history of the world. Hughes' excessive weight was attributed to a malfunctioning pituitary gland. Pituitary gland. Yes, that is the gland that controls puberty. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Anyways, um, his chest was measured at 3.15 meters, and he weighed an estimated 460 kilos, kilobytes. or 1,070 pounds. Did they just say kilobytes? No, it's a. Uh, I know, but I say kilobytes. Kilograms. Um, at his heaviest, at the age of six, 1,070 pounds <laughs> at the age of six. <laughs> oh, that's just tragic. <laughs> wow. Wow, that is, uh... At the age of six. six. Oh, wait, There's... no, actually, no, it's wrong. No, at the oh. age of six, he weighed 200 pounds. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, you read there. At age 10, he weighed 380 pounds. Let's look at these pictures. Okay. I'm checking them. No. Okay. no. I can't check them on. Okay, anyways, no. um... There's right. nothing funny about child obesity. <laughs> sorry, it's just that, yeah. Yeah, you should be banned. Uh, All right, Kenneth Brumley. Yeah. We have Kenneth Brumley, and the only pictures are <laughs> these, where his legs are like, you know, oh, that's disgusting. But anyway. That's not good. Um, that's not, not that good. Yeah, yeah, he was one of the heaviest people ever recorded whose weight was confirmed. He he was featured on Channel 4 Body Shock. Dom oh, he was featured on Channel 4. Body shock documentary half ton dad. You gotta put up the gain. Who we can't hear you. 74 stone or 1,035 pounds. 74 stone? Is that a measure? I, I bet he ate a lot of marble pound cake. Maybe put up the gain. Huh? Can barely hear you from there. I bet he ate a bunch of marble pound cake. I think he likes to have his Twinkies. <laughs> okay, now it's your turn. Okay, uh, sorry. That's a big Twinkie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know, you can have like an 80 pound pitch of Twinkie. Oh, yeah, that's pretty bad. Alright. Alright. Number six is Michael Hebronco. Okay. After his stay at St. Luke's Hospital in New York, he dropped his weight from four from 910 pounds to 90, 200, uh, okay, sorry, 200 pounds and waist size from 110 inches to 36. Three, three, His waist was 110 <laughs> inches. How many feet is that? Oh, we'll Google it. Gaming mic. Google it right now. Divide it by 12. Divide Give 110 inches by 12. He's doing it right now. Okay. 
How many feet is that? <laughs> How many feet <laughs> wide is this waist? Well, it's almost ten. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Sorry, it's just kind of, um, yeah, it's just really, <laughs> I, I can't help I already that. have another topic for uh, after this one. Yeah. I just came up with it now, but, huh? What was it again? Uh, like, one, the 110 inches. Divided by, wait, 110 divided by 12. You got the same calculator as I do. Nine inches, just a little bit. Or nine says nine point one six 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 seven. Almost ten feet. Almost ten feet. He his waist was almost the size. <laughs> like his his waist was taller than the average human. No, his waist was taller than the record, than the world record right now. <laughs> <laughs> the tallest person. That's pretty good. Yeah. Then we have a uh, m- at number seven. We have m- Mira Rosales. And I don't think I think she's wearing a onesie, but I can't tell. Uh, it's too big. Yeah. It's so gross, but oh, that's yeah. so gross. You know, in order for her to be skinny, she'd have to like grow up to like a thousand feet tall. Really? Yeah. Does it say that? I uh, know, but like, look at the folds on her legs. <laughs> no normal human should have <laughs> folds on their legs. I don't got fold on my legs. Okay. Check out my legs. Uh, um, she was. Okay, Ms. Roll is, Myra Roll is child murder. 1,000 pound women is too big to kill. <laughs> A Texas court has ruled that Myra Roll who weighs about 1,036 pounds weighs too much. And it could have been impossible for her to lift her arm in order to kill. And it, and it would have been impossible for her to lift her arm in order to kill her two-year-old nephew, whom she was accused of murdering in 2008. She sat on it. And that's yeah, yeah she sat on yeah. it. No way she fell on no. <laughs> 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 <Or> like <laughs> her body would probably make the sound of like jello like the kid, the kid decided to venture in but never came out. Yeah. All right, now it's, it's your like turn. More Indiana right. Jones. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay, here here we go. Number 8. John Brower Min- Minock. Minock? Yeah. This is John Bower Minock. Um of Bainbridge Island, Washington. He was six feet one inch tall and was an estimated oh wait, was estimated as weighing probably Whoa. more than one thousand four hundred pounds Whoa. in nineteen seventy nine. At which at at which point it took thirteen people just to roll him over in bed. Minock, like many of the heaviest people, suffered from massive ed- 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 edema. Edema. His weight was augmented by at least 9,000 pounds of fluid, of fluid at his... <laughs> That's 900 pounds, not 9,000. <laughs> you said 9,000. That would be... He'd be long dead. Some people say you die at 600 pounds, but these people are weighing over a thousand... This guy weighs a ton. <laughs> Literally, he weighs a ton. <laughs> He's dying, by the way. How yeah, much was he again? He's a ton. 0. 0.4. 1.4 tons. <laughs> okay. Sorry, 9,000 pounds seem to be a little bit too much. I'm sorry. Okay, and then we have Terry Smith at number nine. And uh, a woman believed to be the world's fattest at 700 pounds. Okay. Um, That's about it. That's about it. She didn't lose anything. No, actually, yes, she did. Now she weighs 252 pounds. This is all tragic. I know. Yes. That's <laughs> now you got a kid. Yeah. Here's child obesity at its finest year. Mm-hmm. Here, you try and say that name. Uh, Disambic Katokov. I don't know. Is it okay. Disambic Oh, Katokov. okay. Just just read his weight. Just tell me his weight. Okay, um. Okay. At birth. Okay, I'm going to say it. Jambic weighed six. Six pounds, six ounces. A reasonable little amount for a baby. But by his first birthday, he was more than 28. <laughs> was he over 28,000 pounds? <laughs> well, let's see. Where, where were you? Right, right there, right there. Okay, by his first birthday, he was more than 28 pounds. 
At three years old, Jambic was lifting weights as heavy as seven pounds. At four, he had ballooned 81 pounds, and even though he was just three feet 11 inches in at six, he was 157 pounds. Since then, Jambic has gained nearly 112 pounds, more on a diet of porridge and ice cream. <laughs> Wow. Uh, it doesn't seem like a pretty nutritious diet. Yeah, and then um, he practices wrestling. Mm-hmm. He goes swimming. And that's about it. He just weighs a ton. Yes. Poor he doesn't guy. weigh a ton, though. Uh, a poor man. Yeah. Uh, well, that's it for like that that's topic. Pretty much it. But now I got another topic for you. I just came up with it. What would that be? The top 10 like, gaming accessories. Wait, what? Like accessories for gaming, like good keyboards, mice, mouses, uh, or whatever you say. Well, you guys are masters at that, I'm guessing, more. more well, you got game here. and stuff. You are the gaming mutt. Yeah. I haven't played a video game in a month. Hmm. Let's go. Gaming. To the day. Mm-hmm. Let's just do gaming accessories, just the top 10 gaming accessories. All right, here we go. Hmm. All right, here's 30 awesome gaming devices for PC gamers, but I'm not a PC gamer. I don't even play games very much. Okay, uh, here we go. Here we go. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, we have the Logitech Flight System. That's that's one of them. Mm-hmm. In a class of its own, this flight system is perfectly crafted for looks and comfortable gaming. It's a joystick. It's like that joystick that we need to play that, play that game. See. Then there's the Razer Hydra. Looks like a Wii. Yeah, it looks like a nunchuck. It it's the like first motion sensor controller. controller. Then we have the uh, Logitech G27 racing wheel. Steering wheel. Mm-hmm. It describes itself right there. There's the, uh, what is that? That's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. The Razer no no. Nostromo, <clears throat> an yeah. eight-way directional gamepad with 16 programmable keys to give you better control over your games. It features a soft-touch rubberized wrist pad for added comfort. Seems very interesting. It looks ugly. There's the Cyborg MMO7. It's a mouse. It's got a gold knob on it. And then there's the Thrustmaster T-Flight Hoda's X flight stick. So what do you do with it? Do you go like... Or something well, it's like an like airplane like... simulator thing. There's a Logitech G930 gaming headset speaks for itself the razor naga <laughs> yep and then there's the satex x52 flight control system it's another joy joystick, joystick. there's the gaming speakers razor Hurox gaming speakers and they're like small i don't know and then there's the satex pro flight yoke yoke some days you just can't get rid of a bomb so you yolk it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do. Must be, uh, must be related to an egg. Cyborg MBX. I don't know what that is. It, it, oh, they're lights. They're just lights. Just lights, I guess, yeah. A Razer Timet gaming headset. It's just another headset. speaks for itself. We have another steering wheel. You know, then there's another gaming an Another gaming mouse. There's another game. There's a game pad. There's another joystick. Mouse. A game board thing. I don't know what it is. Weird, and there we go. Weird, just a weird thing. I don't do fruit. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't do fruit. And we got uh, another another mouse, and then a, a projector. It looks. And then a uh, another headset. Some gloves. Why would you need a glove for playing games? Yeah, I don't know. Seems weird. What a nerd. Yeah, what a nerd. That's you gotta nerds. wear gloves. And I just Who wears a quiet. glove. All right. Some nerds hiding in corners, clinging to the walls like bats. Oh, yeah, you got these nerds hiding in corners, clinging the walls like bats. Mm-hmm. There's nerds on the ceiling with their gloves on. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. We then there's yeah. that there's another game pad. Oh, I have gosh. no idea what that is. That looks like a. That's just a router. No, I that's think, the ugliest I think, thing I've ever seen. I gotta send you that picture. I think that's a ra- radio telephone. Looks like one. Yes, a radio telemarker. <laughs> looks like one. Telephone. Like really close to one. Yep. Okay, we're gonna send. I'm gonna send the gaming mutt the picture right now. I don't think he can hear me. What I'm saying. Can That's you hear me? Live. Hello. Can you hear me? Okay. Mm. All right. Now I'm just gonna send this message to him. I just pasted it. Nope. Okay. There it is. One second. I'm 
back in a second. So, okay. Thor, there it is. Thor? This podcast is all no. over tonight. Only oh. nerds were close. Yeah, and then we got another uh, strategic commander. I, what is that? It's a gaming device that lets you control your moves. Commander forces to analyze the map easily with just a touch of a few buttons. There's another mouse. There's a there's a gaming glove. It's like a power glove. Yeah, only nerds wear gloves. <laughs> Tell them the joke. What a nerd. Just tell them the joke. Tell what them the a joke. nerd. You got these the, nerds hiding in corners. Clean the walls like bats, them, and that's the end. So, tell them that's the, the end joke. Of that topic. Let's just talk now. Tell them Let's why it's about. funny that I just said that nerds only wear gloves. Nerds? Thorin. Huh? Because I'm wearing gloves right now. I know. I saw the that. Joke. It's for the people watching. It's for the people watching. Oh, yeah. yes. You're they protesting. Can't. They can't see me. They can't uh-huh. see me. Okay. So, now that we're done with two our two topics, now we just talk to fill up our 30-minute mark. Okay. So, I guess we got 10 minutes left. So we got 10 minutes to go. Let's go, back to, the, let's go back to the leaves, leaves discussion. Now we got to yeah. get gaming mud in on this action. Yes, let's... Yeah. Include you. Okay, but actually, no. How about you bring up the cop, the topic, gaming? But how would you make like a tree and leave? And he's left yeah. for the sixth time tonight. I see. And he's gone again. So he's leaved. Yeah, now he's back. <laughs> he has appeared. He's leaved oh, quite a few yeah, times. Leaved. Ha 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 ha. Hey. Why don't I leave you alone? <laughs> now that's just offensive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kids, leafing through glasses isn't funny. Yeah. Leafy is not here. He's in a tree. <laughs> that's pretty good. That it's also not funny. <laughs> yeah, he's not funny. He's Bam. Like, hey guys, it's Leafy here. I don't even know. And if he here was... it is again. Brats humiliate me on podcast. There's the video title again. I can see it now. Three nerds wearing gloves get bully me. Three nerds wearing gloves bully me on podcast. Yes. Ugh. Okay, so. No, let's just continue to be... talk about leaves. Okay. Right. Well, I could honestly give you a very uh, detailed description of leaves. You do that. So, um, well, I have no idea what happens in the spring, but I can definitely tell you what happens in the fall. In the fall, there's a series of chemical reactions that occur in a leaf. It's exactly the same type of thing that might happen with, like, a banana, and how it ripens, and then it gets brown, like, after maybe green. It's, like, the same type of thing. It gets, well, as soon as the frost hits, the chemical reactions inside the banana start to change. Inside the leaves start to change, and then, and then, um... And then they start turning, well, I guess it also depends on the type of tree and the chemical makeup inside each individual atom, and the amount of chlorophyll that the leaf has. So sometimes, like, a really purple, even leaves can be purple, have an extremely large amount of chlorophyll in it. So that's what makes it purple. No, actually, I'm not too sure on that. I'm not too sure on what makes it green, but I know it is chlorophyll. But, um, it's just, I just know it's... They change because of chemical reactions with the atmosphere. Interesting. In times of Interesting. Mm-hmm. Just had to put stuff away. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Just seven minutes. All right. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's talk about balloons. Words. Yeah, you just say what games you have on your computer, okay? Yeah. Just say what games you have. Okay. One second. Don't say mine while you're waiting. Minecraft Dead Tate Wham. Uh, Final Fantasy Fabio's 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then Final Fantasy Fabio's World, which I never got my money back. Okay, I got this. Lego Worlds, I got, I'm doing mine. I'm doing mine. You know, you gotta, you can't interrupt me. I'm sorry. You're not interrupting me. I'm saying mine. All right. Okay. Tell Lego the Hobbit. Gary's Mod. Surgeon Simulator, Goat Simulator, Snow, Turbo Dismount, Left 4 Dead 2, Counter Strike Global Offense, I uh, know Counter Strike Global Offense, Counter Strike Nexon Zombies, Scenic Ball, Who's Your Daddy, Team Fortress 2, Unturned, 
Star Wars Dark Forces, Star Wars Dark Forces 2, Star Wars Starfighter, Star Wars Jedi Knight, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Star Wars Jedi Knight Academy, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, Star Wars Empire, Empire at War, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, um, Star Wars Republic Commando, Star Wars The Force Unleashed, Ultimate Sith Edition, Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2, Star Wars The Clone Wars, uh, Star Wars Jedi Knight, and League right. of Legends Paladins. Okay, so uh, my collection is Castle Crashers. Psycho Waluigi, Shovel Knight, Stardew Valley, Le Fantabulous Game, um, Star Wars Battlefront 2, Star Wars Dark Forces, Star Wars Empire at War Gold, Star Wars Dark Forces 3, 2, I mean, Star Wars Jedi Knight 2, Star Wars Jedi Academy, Star Wars Jedi Knight Mystery of the Sith. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. Star, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Star Wars Repu Republic he Commando. Has all those Star Wars games I have. Star Wars Starfighter. Star Wars The Clone Wars. Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2. Star Wars The Force Unleashed. And then, I, of course, I have my ROMs. I have my legal ROMs. You have your what? I'm having my illegal ROMs, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Oh. That's just a whole new can of worms. <laughs> it's a whole new can of worms. Okay. Well, that's a whole that's a whole new trash pickle I don't want to get into. <laughs> a trash pickle? Okay. Yes. That's pretty good. Um, uh, what games do you play most often? <laughs> None of them. Yeah, me neither. I don't play video games. I don't do fruit. <laughs> You're not going to throw your mic. No. I spent 50 bucks on this. I don't have fruit. Yeah. Well, I don't do games, so. Last uh, time I... Okay, I the last time I... don't play games very much. Well, the last time I used my PlayStation 2 was to watch a movie last week. Oh, sweet. It's all my You like content. watching movies. Yeah, I do. Don't we? Cause we have done commentaries. Now we just did our fifth commentary tonight. Yeah. Or which one do you know came first? Did the podcast? Did we record the podcast first or the commentary? Who will know? The world Nobody will never, never know. know. No one will know. We could be saying we're going to do the commentary, or we did the commentary. Which is it? Who knows? It's a mystery. Uh, what did we minutes. or okay. when did we do the podcast? Huh? If mirrors are real, are our eyes real? How can yes. you are? I, I how, don't actually don't know. How can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? Now my brain is has exploded. It can't be real because we can't see how to make a mirror. Did you know that that is a Jaden Smith quote on his Twitter? You guys got punked. We got beaned? Yes, you did, in fact, got beaned. It's, it's this picture. Here, I'll show it to you right now. <laughs> oh, you got beaned! <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys, oh, the amazing uh, mischief guy went live, gaming butt. Who is that? He's the guy who's checked out our podcast. He thinks it sucks. I bet he does. Doesn't he? We're just a bunch of kids that laugh at people flying through windows and and people being overly obese. Yeah. No, that's not me. That's 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 him. I, not, I found it funny. It was just so stupid. I just couldn't. Well, if it, it if it gives you enjoyment, I'm happy too. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay. <laughs> it was, you know, should we like sing a song or something for like the last minute remaining? What I'll song? Show you my song. I don't know. Just like sing it. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna make up like a beat. Sing like a random song. Or oh, something. by the way, listen to this. Listen to this. Never mind. Listen to this. Um, Janet Rend said Donald Trump will never be president in my life. She lived from July 21st, 1938, through November 7th, 2016. Brother, don't put politics in this. I already told you that's one of. No, that's no, 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 no. It's not the politics thing. It's her. How long irony. she lived? Maybe irony. Oh. It's irony. Oh. Oh, and okay. then then there's this. You see what it says? It says, bite me. Here. Look. It's 
Yeah. Fear Man on a Batman logo. Oh, I didn't see that. And then Halloween is over. What? Who will win? Winter is coming. Um. Oh, well, this is. Winter is coming. Look, indeed. look what it says. Winter dot camina. Winter dot camina. People a beat. He's got flow. He's got flow. He rhymed every single one of those words. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll show you the bean picture. Can the podcast be over now? Yeah. We can end it soon. We can end it soon. Okay. Here's the bean. Here, I'll keep it interesting. They can't see that. That's not interesting for anybody except just, for me. I can't see that, by the way. Okay. Just got beamed. Y'all got beamed. And, uh, alright, so I guess that's going to wrap up our podcast. This that's was nice. probably the worst podcast we've ever done. Most but, since God Most 3, it... but since God 3 to 1 was here, it was good. Most so. interesting, though, maybe. <laughs> I guess we learned a few things. Yeah. Right, Gaming Mutt? You know and learning is half the battle. Yeah, I guess. So, should I do the outro? This is Stampy Longlegs with the Minecraft Editated and Wham outro. So, goodbye.